Ladies and gentlemen, the latest on Block's cash app platform. Despite Jack Dorsey's claims that hip-hop stars rapping about Cash App indicates its mainstream appeal, further investigation has revealed that its main use is to fund criminal enterprise. <laughs> What's going on, everyone? Jeremy here from The Quartering, and it looks like we've got some pretty bad news for old Jack Dorsey, or at least, at least how it looks on Twitter. It doesn't look very good. Some wild claims of massive fraud in his company and a huge drop in his stock price due to, allegedly, overinflating the number of customers that his, that his company actually has. And uh, I wonder how far back this actually goes, how deep this actually goes. This doesn't seem like a very trustworthy thing to do. And now there is some absolute heat on the man uh, over his new company, Block, uh, facilitating massive amounts of fraud, allegedly. Now, this is from Disclosed TV and you know, a wide variety of others. <clears throat> Short seller Hindenburg, <laughs> which is kind of hilarious, accuses Jack Dorsey's Block, which is his company, of facilitating fraud. Hindenburg Research, which is a short seller whose new report, uh, brutal report on Indian billionaire Gautam Adani, <clears throat> triggered a $150 billion loss of the mogul's net worth, is now claiming Jack Dorsey's mobile payment firm Block of facilitating fraud by turning a blind eye to customers who took advantage of lockdown era relief payments. Uh-oh. Well, here's one thing I can tell you. My company, coffeebrandcoffee.com, right down below, promo code the quartering. 15 delicious coffees, 15 delicious organic teas, including three new detox teas and three hot cocos, would never facilitate fraud or pump our numbers like Jack Dorsey did. And I would love for you to open a new tab and give us a try today. It supports the channel directly. And if you check out our reviews, I know you'll see that, uh, that the product is worth your time. Black was also accused of failing to crack down on illegal activities by customers of its Cash App payments facilitator. Hindenburg claims that Cash App clients exploited government stimulus payments during the coup lockdowns to line their pockets. Quote, Block ignored both internal and external warnings that multiple individuals using the same bank account number to receive government funds was a brazen red flag of fraud, Hindenburg said in the report. Multiple key lapses in Cash App's compliance processes facilitated billions in government payout fraud. Hindenburg said it was told by authorities in Massachusetts that the state was looking to claw back more than 70,000 unemployment payments sent to Cash App accounts. 70,000 payments. I mean, this is what happens when your government just prints trillions of dollars and then says you can stay at home and we'll just send you money. Of course, we, it seems like every other week we see somebody who's getting arrested for it. You know, oh, this influencer, that influencer took $6 million, $9 million because the money was so incredibly easy to get. Other states were also going after Cash App in an effort to claw back allegedly ill-gotten gains. Washington State said more than 200 mil, wanted more than $200 million back from payment processors, while Arizona sought to recover $500 million. The short seller also accused Block of flouting the law by charging up to 35% in interchange fees, well above the cap set by regulators. Hindenburg said the same method used by Cash App rival PayPal over its debit card interchange rates, which are the feeds that, fees that merchants pay banks every time a customer swipes a debit card. In July 2021, the SEC launched an investigation of PayPal for allegedly circumventing the cap on interchange fees by routing payments through smaller banks. A Freedom of Information Act request we filed with SEC indicates that Block, Jack Dorsey's company, may be a part of a similar investigation. Shares of Block, which developed the popular Cash App mobile payment facilitator, plunged by nearly 20% just after opening the, bell, the opening bell rang on Thursday. The post has sought comment from Block. Quote, our two-year investigation has concluded that Block has system systemically, systematically sorry, taken advantage of the demographics it claims to be helping. The short seller said in a note 
published on the website. Hindenburg claims that Block obfuscates the number of customers registered in, on its Cash App platform by reporting misleading transacting active metrics filled with fake and duplicate accounts. Now, I wonder, was there another company that was also maybe accused of having a huge number of potentially fake or duplicate accounts that was tied to Jack Dorsey? I can't think of the name. Was it coffeebrandcoffee.com? No, that was Twitter. The firm said the Block co-founders Jack Dorsey and James McKelvey collected and sold Collective, I'm sorry, collectively sold over $1 billion of stock during the lockdowns as the company's shares price soared. Other executives included finance chief, don't really care, and lead manager for Cash App, Brian, don't really care, also dumped millions of dollars in stock, the report added, before releasing its findings on Thursday morning. Hindenburg teased that it would be issuing a few new reports soon and another big one. The tweet on Wednesday went viral, generating more than 31,000 likes and 6 million views as of Thursday morning. About 5.2% of Block's fee, free float shares were in, short, in a short position as of March 22nd. The company's ticker was the third most trending on retail investor stock forum. Stock twists last month, Block said it's meaningfully slowing the pace of hiring this year due to control costs. Hmm. Now, if you look at it as it stands now, it's recovered a little bit, but... Not much. It's still down nearly 17% and falling as the day goes on. Now, they did respond. They did response to this. They did respond, geez, to this saying, we intend to work with the SEC and explore legal action against Hindenburg Research for the factually inaccurate and misleading report they shared about our cash app business today. Now, the thing is, this company is in the business of short selling, right? Um, Hindenburg, which is probably like, Maybe it's a, an on-the-nose name. They make money when stock prices fall. Hindenburg is known for these type of attacks, which are designed solely to allow short sellers to profit from a declined stock price. We have reviewed the full report in the context of our own data and believe it is designed to deceive and confuse investors. We are a highly regulated public company with regular disclosures and are confident in our products, reporting, compliance programs, and controls. We will not be distracted by Typical short seller tactics. Well, I suppose that's a response. You see here, Jack Dorsey's block hit with fraud allegations for massively overstating its user base, following Elon Musk accusations that Twitter also artificially inflated its metrics. Jack's other company is in the spotlight. The firm claimed that 40 to 70% of Cash App's 51 million active users were fake involved in fraud or were multiple accounts tied to the same user if it's 70 percent they're claiming that 35 million of the 51 million were fake accounts i mean if you told me that 70 percent of active twitter users were fake i'd believe you i'd believe you today still as i use twitter less and less and less and it seems like my viewers are using twitter less and less and less I don't even know what the long term is for Twitter anymore. It certainly has a lot of ground to make up. It has a lot of value to add to bring users back, even though it's under different ownership. Even I canceled my Twitter Blue, although the tick mark is still there till 30 days after I canceled it or whatever, but it's canceled. Now, again, more than that, the report claims that Block was focusing on getting criminals to use the app for facil facilitating identity fraud and other grifts, then allowing them to withdraw funds quickly. Instead of banning users found to be facilitating fraud, Hindenburg said Block banned the individual accounts without blacklisting the actual grifter. Now, Hindenburg are known short sellers, and the firm released its report. Shares of Block dived more than 20%, according to Bloomberg Markets. While well, Hindenburg is using this report to put Block into a new short position, the two-year investigation concluded interviews with former employees and reviews of public and private documents. Despite Hindenburg's obvious financial incentive, the report included many specific claims that Cash App was inflating Cash App's user base. Quote, the I'm sorry, for example, the firm quotes a former Cash App employee who said that a majority of accounts were overcounted because they had multiple accounts connected to a single user. 
Some users have dozens of accounts tied to them, <coughs> excuse me, but others can have hundreds. Another unnamed former employee reportedly told Block, said that Block blacklisted accounts but did not go after original users through his social security number, which they could have easily done. Since users normally require just a phone number and an email to sign up, it's, an easy, it's easy to create new ones if you get banned. Even stranger, the report alleged the Twitter co-founder Jack Dorsey had been promoting how often Cash App was used in hip-hop and rap songs, but the songs themselves often promoted just how often app was used for a crime. Hindenburg included a video in its report with songs that included tracks from the rappers like Lil Durk and Juice World talking about paying for hits and, and other things on Cash App. The firm alleged Black paid to promote uh, a particular song called Cash App, which mentions hiring contract bad guys using the payment service. I mean, I don't know. I mean, it's marketing. Is that itself illegal? I, I don't think so. It doesn't seem like it. But uh, looks like old Dorsey isn't quite the reformed guy that he wants everyone to believe. And I, for one, am totally not, sh not shocked whatsoever at all. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure you leave a like on it and you subscribe down below. And we'll talk to you again real soon.